Tenshirin psychological support for victims of abductions has been recognized as crucial in addressing the trauma that may result from such harrowing incidents. Now, Trust TV's Bello Musa reports that members of Kuriga community are currently receiving support to help them cope with the psychosocial trauma stemming from the recent abduction of their children. His report. After the Kuriga abduction, the entire community was exposed to trauma which experts say needed to be addressed. The reunion of the school children with their parents after release brought relief to the community. However, psychiatrists say people who experienced such ugly incident may likely have post-traumatic disorder if nothing is done to avoid it. Or they will not start sleeping early, they will keep you know, thinking about the whole incident, when they finally fall asleep, they would have dreams of the event, which would make the sleep largely unrefreshing. They may wake up multiple times, so they would have problems with sleep, problems with appetite, problems with even living, you know, being happy or being satisfied with life. And this is a complex condition that requires expert management. You know. Sitting in this hall are parents and other stakeholders at Kuriga community who had experienced trauma after the abduction of their children by a bandit. Here, they will be equipped with psychosocial training on how to help their community overcome the challenges posed by incident like abduction. You see, this program is to provide psychosocial support to the participants and go down to Kuriga community facilitate the, the parents and the learners and uh, provide resilience to the community as a whole. Alhamdulillah, duk da mun shiga cikin damuwa da bakin ciki da tashin hankalin faruwar daga daukan har zuwa while we are dealing with the trauma of the death of our brother we are hopeful that this will ease our pains and help us support his family. Our children must continue with their education. Though, some of the children are still battling with trauma. It is, however, gradually reducing. We will use what we have learned here to enlighten our community. We have started reading about how to be a resilient community that will ensure that what happened does not discourage parents from sending their children to school. The Commissioner Kaduna State Ministry of Human Services and Social Development, Hajja Rabi Salusu, said the knowledge of psychosocial support given to the parents is expected to be passed to the affected children and the larger community. As you know, after repatriating these children back to their communities, uh, the state government needs a follow-up. This is uh, in terms and conditions and the mandate of the Ministry of Human Services and Social Development Kaduna State to make sure that the follow-up has to do with mental and psychosocial support of these parents. According to the UNICEF and the Kaduna State Government, this is a follow-up to the reunion of the children with their parents, adding that it will provide mental and psychosocial support to the parent in the community. Bella Musa, Trust TV News Kaduna.